Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I have a really belated empties video. I think this is probably July, August, September empties, if I'm not mistaken. I think I have a lot here because I most recently did a beauty empties. I did not include any of my bath body hair products, so I have a ton of products here. Just warning you, hope you have something to drink, either a cup of tea, coffee, water, beer, whatever, whatever floats your boat. We're going to get cracking and if you want to see reviews or follow-ups on any of the products mentioned, check the description box below, leave me a comment. I've reviewed some of these products and I'm going to go through them fast because some of them are repeats in prior empties. And if you can't get enough empties, check out my empties playlist. I will have my empties playlist listed in the cards above. I really hope it's on this side so I don't look like an idiot in editing this video. But if you click the little eye button or tap it on your mobile device above, my finger over here, uh, you'll see my empties playlist. I think I have over 30 videos in that. I've been doing empties for the last three or four years now. So empties videos keep me accountable for all the products I accumulate and somehow get my hands on either for review purposes or when I'm going ham at Target and I put way too much stuff in my cart. Let's go through it. Hope you enjoy. First up is the Colleen Rothschild Extreme Recovery Cream. I love this product. This product is amazing because it's a whip texture cream, but it's still heavy enough to feel substantial on your skin. I would say this is more suited as a PM treatment, something you put on your skin before bed, but you can absolutely use it during the day if you have skin on the dry or dehydrated side. I love this product because when I come home at like six or seven after work, I've been doing a really good job at taking my contacts, taking off my makeup like the minute I get home so my skin can breathe. and. I like this moisturizer because if I put it on at like 6 or 7 o'clock, when I go to bed at like 11 or midnight, my skin doesn't feel like it already needs moisturizer again. It still feels like hydrated to the touch. It feels plump. Because other moisturizers and like nighttime moisturizer I put on that have like hyaluronic acid and like other plumping and hydrating ingredients, I feel like if I put them on at 7 o'clock at night, when I go to bed and like hit the hay at like 11, 30, 12, I feel like I haven't put any moisturizer on and I have to go in the bathroom and put some more on. So, long story short, this stuff is bomb. It keeps your skin hydrated for a very long time. Keeps your skin feeling plump and juicy and bomb. So definitely Colin Ross Child, expensive, but really good. Next up is the Soap and Glory Smoothie Star Breakfast Scrub. This has oat, sugar, and shea. It smells so good. This is one of my favorite all-time body scrubs. It just smells like maple syrup and waffles to me. I don't know. It just smells really, really good. You can get it at Target now, but it's also carried at Ulta. Love it. Have definitely repurchased. Here's the other Soap and Glory body scrub I use. This is the Flake Away. I just bought this to switch it up. This one has shea butter, sugar, and peach seed. And I didn't like this one as much as the Smoothie Star. This one was okay. This one was a little bit more scratchy on the skin. I feel like the Smoothie Star is a little bit more nourishing. Even though they both are scrubs, this one was a little bit more abrasive. So I'm going to pass on this one, but it might be fun to try if you like more fruity scents. Next up is the Dr. Teal's Epsom Salt Soaking Solution. The six pound bag. This is the unscented plain kind. I finally found this at Costco. It was like with the adult diapers and like, you know, the, the area I don't go in at Costco basically and it's in a box you get two of these two of these six pound bags it's the best bargain I think it's like eight or nine dollars for two huge bags of this and this will last you many many baths if you want to go crazy like I do put it in like two or three baths <laughs> I may or may not have done that but you know if you can afford it then why not I don't know I really love this stuff I might be wasteful yes but I really love pampering myself with the Epsom salt bath every now and again so definitely recommend this get it at Costco. Look in the area where you least expect it. Next up we have two of the Heritage Store Rose Petals Rose Water Toner. I love this stuff. I get it on Vitacost. I use it as a makeup refresher, aromatherapy, um, when I'm traveling. I, although this size is not TSA friendly, just keep that in mind. It's a really good one. I actually decant this and put it in miniature squeeze bottles, uh, spritzers that I get at Muji. But definitely really good stuff. Always will repurchase. I used up the uh, L'Occitane shower oil, the almond shower oil. I love this stuff. I actually always ask for this for Christmas or my birthday because it's a very luxurious shower oil. It kind of foams up a little bit, but not too much. You could use it for shaving, although I wouldn't totally recommend that because it can uh, like gunk up your razor. Definitely a very luxurious bath oil you can use in so many different ways. Really love this. I've already 
repurchased slash got another one for a birthday or something. I can't remember. I have another one in my stash of products, so definitely love this and highly recommend it. Another nourishing pampering type product is the Rose Argan Body Conditioner by Lush. I love this stuff. My legs get so dry and itchy, especially in the fall and winter time. It's like this rose jammy fragrance and it's very nourishing. You don't have to use a body lotion after you get out of the shower once you use this. Definitely will be putting this in my Back to Lush stash so I can get a free face mask. But highly recommend it. It's expensive, but a little bit does go a long way. Next up is the Living Proof Zero Frizz Humidity Shield. I actually have repurchased this in the small size, so I can travel with it. This was sent to me uh, for review purposes, and I absolutely love it. It smells great, but let me just tell you, like, it's the Zero Frizz line, but I don't think this is powerful enough to withstand very, very extremely frizzy, kinky hair. My hair is more like straight but if I don't blow dry it it can get a little frizzy I also live in a relatively humid but cold climate I live in San Francisco so we always have fog we always have humidity in the air there's always like a mist uh, this helps just my little like scraggly hairs on the top from like not sticking up all the time I have definitely used it today I'll use it as a finishing styling product so after my hair dries or I blow dry it straight I just like mist a little bit of this all over brush it through and I feel like it helps those like straggly hairs that can kind of like work their way up from being um it, it helps tame them down a little bit so definitely love this but I just I just think it's not gonna be enough for people who have extremely frizzy hair so just keep that in mind but if you have hair like me it's definitely a good one I used up the Beauty Secrets Pure Acetone Nail Polish Remover. I think I got this at CVS, I can't remember. I have a new nail polish remover I have been loving. I think I got it at Sally Beauty Supply. It's the coconut scented one. No, I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond. This is definitely not like anything to write home about. It's definitely more powerful than the Up & Up nail polish remover I was using, but not my favorite. I have a new favorite. I'll talk about that soon. Next up, I have the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Treatment Plus Keratin absolute favorite must have holy grail product for me I use this mostly as a detangler when my hair is wet out of the shower I have extremely long hair it gets extremely tangly this stuff is my go-to next up I have the Kerastase Crystalliste uh, shampoo I got this at Namie's down in LA I bought this on a whim because I had never tried anything from the pink range within Kerastase I love Kerastase hair care it's so good. It's very high quality salon grade products that smell really good and make your hair feel incredible. So um, this one is a, a shampoo formulated for long fine hair which is exactly what I have. I feel like this kept my hair very weightless and shiny although I don't think it's holy grail status for me. I really liked it but Kerasauce is expensive and unless it wows me I'm not going to repurchase it. But if I had all the money in the world, I definitely would. So, a nice shampoo, but definitely not something I'm, like, rushing out to repurchase. I used up the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo in the unscented variety. I love this dry shampoo. It's a close second to Batiste, which is my all-time favorite dry shampoo. I find that this is um, a little bit less pungent, obviously, because it is unscented. It also, I think, leaves less buildup slash... It's a little less like powdery than Batiste. I don't know, it's just not as heavy as Batiste on my hair. So if my hair is super duper oily, I love using Batiste to like really suck up the oil, but I know I'll have to immediately wash my hair the next day. With this, I feel like it's a little less prone to gunking up your scalp, if that makes sense. So definitely a really good one. I don't hear a lot of people talk about this brand, but the unscented, you have to get the unscented. The, like the regular one's okay, but I, I'm not a fan of the scent. It's like a little bit too like limey, citrusy for me. This one's great. It's unscented. You can find it at Ulta, and I think Target's starting to get the unscented one. So check them out. Really good. I have a lot of hair care in here, you guys. Just because my hair is so long, I go through hair products like none other. So, uh... Leads me to my next product, the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. Love this stuff. They've recently repackaged it, renamed it. So you can find this sometimes at TJ Maxx Marshalls. I got this one at Nordstrom Rack, I think. It was priced at 25 bucks, and I love this stuff. It smells amazing, really detangles my hair, softens it, makes it silky, smooth, and shiny. It's really like the like MVP when it comes to the hair masks that I've tried. It's the one-all, does-all. Love it. Here's another Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. This is the repackaged, renamed version, the Nourishing Moisture Mask. 
and I believe I got this at Ulta so this is what the new package looks like and I'm telling you the products are literally identical so um, I, I, I get why brands do that and they repackage stuff to kind of like attract new customers but you know the old existing customers might be confused and they're like where did my favorite product go you renamed it you repackaged it you really wouldn't know until you buy it and try it out for yourself on your hair but this is definitely the same mask it's still really good. Next up is one of my favorite, well it's my all time favorite drugstore shampoo. It's the L'Oreal Everstrong Sulfate Free Thickening Shampoo. It has this nice invigorating rosemary scent. I've talked about it a billion times so I won't go on about it but definitely a drugstore hero. Oh, what do you know? Got another rose water. I go through that stuff like crazy. I have the Yes To Naturals Grapefruit Basil Liquid Hand Soap. Love this stuff. I love this brand in general, but I thought that this was a really fun scent combination. You can find this at Bed Bath & Beyond and at Target now. So definitely love this. We'll absolutely repurchase. It's 99, no, 98% natural and it is paraben free, cruelty free, really good stuff. Love it. I use up the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I just find that this is not as good as I used to remember it being. And maybe it's because I'm older, maybe it's because they've changed things behind the scenes on how this is made. I don't really know. But um, I found that with my eczema like patches around my eye, I'd put this on, it would kind of sting a little bit. I don't know. Kiehl's is like not really that clean of a brand even though like their branding makes you think they might be. They're not really like the purest when it comes to ingredients. So. I don't know, definitely use it all up, um, but it's not my favorite, so I probably won't repurchase. Oh my god, skincare hero right here, the Genifique Serum by Lancome. Oh, this stuff is so good. There's a little bit left in there maybe. I'll see what I can do about the last couple drops of this. But this is definitely a serum that when you use it, you will absolutely, without a doubt, notice a difference in your skin. It helps the elasticity, the plumpness, the evenness. But I know it has a lot of hype, but trust me, it definitely makes a difference. And you can definitely go to your long comb counter if you want to get a sample. They're like really generous at the counter. They'll definitely give you a sample to try out. I remember a year or two ago, they were doing like the 14 day free trial of this and little packet samples. So definitely go get your hands on that. I think you'll really enjoy it. I think that this is a really versatile serum too. So maybe if you're in your 20s or 30s or 40s, I feel like this is rich enough to help out people that have more mature skin, but also not too heavy to overwhelm like young mid 20s skin. So this is a product I started using in my early 20s. I'm now in my late 20s. So I love this product and I now have the Lancome Genifique sheet mask that I want to try. Uh, I have it in my stash. I'm just waiting for the perfect night. Um, at home spa night to try it out. So definitely love this. It's a really good one. Next up we have the Humphreys Witch Hazel. Again, a repeat item in most of my empties. I buy this on Vitacost. It's my favorite toner. It's gentle. It doesn't have added alcohol in it. It's 100% all natural. Really pure. Really good. Next up I have a coconut oil from Vitacost. I believe this was a gift with purchase, so it's like a little itty bitty size. I love these little sizes for the bathroom. I used to buy the humongous, you know, 72 ounce, 89 ounce, whatever, tubs from Costco, but they were really hard to store. I live in a 600 square foot apartment in, in the middle of downtown San Francisco, so space is kind of at a premium here. So I do like getting products in smaller containers because it's a little bit more practical for my living situation. Next up we have the Borghese Fango Active Radiance Facial Oil and I really love this product. I was surprised because I haven't tried too much of the Borghese skincare line. I have a couple other products I'm going to be trying out but this was amazing. It was a very very lightweight dry oil so it was light enough to use on my combination dry oily hot mess of a skin and I would use this either by itself in the morning allow ample time for it to soak in before I went with my makeup or if I was having like an at home like no makeup day or whatever I would apply a little bit of this wait a minute and then apply my moisturizer over top and I feel like I would really be ample hydrated throughout the day so I never hear anybody talking about this brand but this is a really good facial oil I believe you can pick it up at Macy's and if not I'll link it below I think you can also find it on Amazon so definitely a really nice lightweight facial oil if you're looking to like tiptoe your way into the facial oil world and like I mentioned, the moisturizer I would typically layer over the top of that facial oil is the Ombreoli's Le Creme Concentré. Again, another repeat product in a lot of my empties videos. This is a fabulous, fabulous French skincare product. You can now find it at Target. This is the gold limited edition packaging. It's normally white with blue swirls on it. It's very lightweight, but also very hydrating. It definitely 
moisturizes the skin very well. It provides a great base for makeup as like a primer. So really one of those products that you'll find all over the world in different makeup artists' kits. It's really bomb. Check it out. Next up is the To Go Spa Eyes Rejuvenating Green Tea Eye Patches. I picked these up at Namie's down in LA. I love these. These are like those little um, like foil wrapped gels that you can put on your eyes when you're having like a really puffy eye moment. Uh, they're really great for at home spa days or before a big event or just relaxing in general. I love to put these in the fridge and you know take them right out before I want to use them and they'd be super cooling. You get three sets in a pack, so meaning you get three pairs to put on your eyes, and they say you can reuse them, or at least people like bloggers and YouTubers and people I follow say you can reuse them, but don't um, put them in the foil and like not wrap them because they will dry out in the fridge and they won't have like the nice moisture on them that they normally do when you take them right out of the package. So I think you can get these on Amazon, if not at Namie's down in LA and different like beauty stores, but really good stuff and I think I'm now a convert to like the little gel eye mask trend. Next up we have the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I love this. I think this is my very first container of this. I got this last fall and I used it in my travel bag. This product has been a lifesaver for when my skin is inflamed and sensitive. This has colloidal oatmeal in it and it's one of those ingredients that's supposed to calm um, sensitive or eczema ridden skin. It's an ingredient that dermatologists recommend to patients and I have yet to see a dermatologist but I know that this is like definitely something that's been aiding my skin. I like that you can get these little tubes in gift sets at Sephora definitely around the holidays or Black Friday and they're perfect for travel. I love the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty and I definitely want to try out more from the range. Next up we have the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. If I'm not mistaken, this was in my travel bag. I think I picked this up at Bed Bath & Beyond or Target or somewhere just to put in my um, carry-on like TSA little liquids bag or whatever. These were great on the plane, but like not my favorite wipes. I am not a huge advocate of makeup wipes. I like them for the convenience, but I don't use them in my everyday life. I will use them like when I'm going to Soul Cycle and I need to take off my makeup or when I'm on the plane and I need to refresh my skin. But other than that, I don't really use makeup wipes. So these were decent, but not like holy grail stuff for me. Here's another repeat product that I love. This is the Alginus Retinol Firming and Lifting Serum. This is a serum I would use at night just before my nighttime moisturizer after I tone and cleanse my face. I found that this was a great serum for evening out the texture of my skin and the evenness in tone and definitely with any type of retinol product you want to make sure you're using a high SPF during the day just so you don't aggravate or damage your skin because it can be extra sensitive to sun but uh yeah this serum is about 100 bucks so not something i would typically buy i know my sister did give this to me as a gift the alginus has some really good standout products i've tried a couple uh really powerful like science driven beauty brands so definitely check this out if you're looking for a retinol based serum this is a good one another exfoliating type product this is the pixie glow tonic this might be my first or second container of this. I love this stuff. I've already repurchased. It's um, a lightweight glycolic toner with 5% uh, glycolic, aloe vera, and ginseng in it. So it's a little bit tingling on the skin, but not too much. Uh, if you're used to hardcore like chemical peels and exfoliation, this might be nothing to you. But if you've never tried anything of that nature, it might be a little bit harsh and stingy at first. I'm somewhere in the middle where my skin's a little bit sensitive. I don't put it over my cheeks or the areas I have dry skin in. I only concentrate this on the center where I have blackheads, congestion, and that kind of thing. But definitely a really good drugstore gem. It's about 15 bucks, but you don't need to use a lot of this and you only really need to use it like once a day. So definitely love this stuff. Definitely a good one. Next up, I have something from Pharmacy. Pharmacy is that brand you see at Sephora that has really cool, like, plant-based ingredients. Really cool, like, just science nerd stuff. And I have their Sleep Type Balm. This was like an, a balm to oil consistency. Kind of like a nighttime treatment. It kind of smells like lemongrass. All of their products are fortified with this, like, Green Envy Echinacea patented product. Uh... So it's really science driven, really good for the skin, really clean ingredients, and this is a really nice nighttime moisturizer. It's not my absolute favorite just because I like, I don't know, I'm kind of like in this gel cream, night cream stage, but this one's more of like a gel to oil or like a balm to oil consistency. Really good, but in terms of like my favorite nighttime products, not my favorite. I actually much prefer their sheet masks, which 
I've talked about before. So definitely a cool brand to check out at Sephora next time you're in store. Okay, next up I want to talk about a couple different cotton products. So all-time favorite Shiseido Facial Cotton the bomb super pillowy super soft they are flat they don't they're not quilted but at the same time they don't like shred into little bits and get like little fibers in your eye a little bit expensive but you get quite a few in here and less is more with these cotton i recently tried out the cotton from muji because they looked very very similar to the shiseido cotton this is their peelable cotton and you get i think 60 sheets in this container and they're peelable meaning that like you pull out one it can kind of peel into two and you can do your skincare routine that way i found that these were just not as soft and pillowy as the shiseido cotton they are kind of a dupe but they're just not as good in my book they're like they're like 60 percent there i would say and then lastly the target oh wait this is target yeah target up and up basic cotton squares as the name suggests, they're very basic, nothing to write home about, but if you're in a pinch, like, those are the ones I go for. I actually prefer the ones that are, like, the premium ones that are in the green packaging by Up and Up, but um, they've been sold out every time I've gone to Target lately, so I'm switching up my cotton routine. I prefer the Shiseido, but those are some other ones I've been trying lately. Okay, next up I want to talk about a makeup brush that really disappointed me and is in my empties because of it, and it's this e.l.f. brush. It is the Ultimate Blending Brush by e.l.f., and clearly you can see... It had a bad day. I was actually washing this for the first time with like soap and water with my little mitt. It started oozing out glue from the ferrule of the brush. I've never had this happen before with e.l.f. brushes. Generally I think the e.l.f. brushes are really good and this is like a th synthetic kabuki style brush that I would love to use with powder products. I had only used this a couple times with like cream products on the face and um, yeah I was a little bit disappointed that this pulled out and pulled apart like that. So and the water wasn't even that hot so it's not like it melted the glue so yeah I'm gonna be tossing this it's a little bit of a disappointment but I don't know I think if you're gonna get a drugstore brush that's synthetic that you're gonna use for liquid products I would steer you in the direction of Real Techniques and not Elf. Real Techniques has much higher quality brushes they're highly durable they last a long time they hold their shape and they're not gonna do this to you so we have another Humphreys Witch Hazel gonna toss that because we already talked about that here we have the Colleen Rothschild radiant cleansing balm this is one of my favorite cleansing balms it smells so so good it smells like um, if you've ever tried like the Eve Lom cleansing balm it has that like moringa scent to it it's very very nourishing and hydrating on the skin it will leave your eyes a little bit cloudy so that's something to keep in mind usually that doesn't bother me because like I'm not going to do anything after I take my makeup off I'm usually chilling at home and gonna watch some YouTube so it's not really a big deal for me but for some people that's really really uncomfortable if you do wear contact lenses I would advise you to take out your contact lenses first and then go in with the <laughs> cleansing balm because if you do it and you still have contacts in you're probably gonna have a bad time so I love this because it didn't irritate my skin it didn't rip out my lashes like I've had other cleansing balms do in the past it's a little bit heavy so if you're not used to that it might be a little bit too much for you but for me it was beautiful it was nourishing it felt like a spa experience at home every night when I took off my makeup so definitely Colleen Rothschild is the bomb we spoke about it before it's really good check it out if you're looking for a more luxurious cleansing balm experience Next up we have the Dior Instant Cleansing Water. This is a micellar water by Dior. Mm, it was okay. I like it, but it's not that gentle around the eyes. And I say that because it's a little bit scented. It has a little bit of a floral scent, which is like unlike some of the other micellar waters I've tried, like Bioderma or Garnier. I found that this micellar water also had a little bit more of an oily texture than the other waters. That might be counterintuitive because this is a cleansing water, but just hear me out. The texture was a little bit more oily than other micellar waters, meaning it was good at removing eye makeup better than other micellar waters, but the scent kind of irritated my eyes. And I had been using this, obviously I used the whole thing. I also, back in May, went to an event at the Dior Boutique where they used it and I was like, yep, I didn't get a bad batch it's definitely like stinging my eyes a little bit if you're not sensitive to scents I think you'll really like this because it's a very effective micellar water because it has a little bit of an oily texture but if you're sensitive I would steer clear just because it can kind of irritate your eyes and I'm like really sensitive so 
I love Dior, but this was kind of a miss product for me. It, it works, but this scent is just, yeah, I was too sensitive. Oh, we got another Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Dry Shampoo. Got another Kerastase product. This is the Ben Force Architect. This is a reconstructing shampoo, meaning it's really good for damaged hair or hair with split ends to kind of really smooth out the hair. Um, I say that like as I'm touching my hair. I did not use this today. I actually finished this up a while ago, but this is one of my favorite shampoos by Kerastase. It feels really nourishing and hydrating on the hair, and that's why this is one I'll continue to repurchase from time to time. Again, not in a rush to go buy it, but definitely one of my favorites from Kerastase. We've got another Yes to Naturals hand soap. This is the Coconut Lemongrass hand soap. So definitely we'll repurchase. The Mrs. Myers Clean Day hand soap is also another go-to. For me, this is the peony scent. This was a limited edition spring scent. I love the scent of it. I know it's very basic of me to love anything with peonies on it, but this one smelled really, really good. Uh, definitely like a sweet floral. Yeah, like a very sweet floral. So if you're into florals, Definitely check this out. It's limited edition, so you might see it next spring. Definitely one to look out for. Right now, we're using the apple cider scent, which is limited edition for autumn. Oh, I love it. I just, I want to go buy a lot so I can stock up. I have another First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I have a pack of the Biore Deep Pore Cleansing Strip. This is for the nose. Highly effective. I know these aren't for everybody, but for me, using these once a week, Definitely helps keep my nose a lot less bumpy and a lot less congested with blackheads and clogged pores. I know long term these are probably not good for you, but in the short term, they're definitely very effective. I use up the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Facial Cleanser with Pineapple Enzyme. I love this cleanser, although right now my skin is just a little bit too sensitive to use it. So what I like using this for, and this is going to be like a little bit TMI, but I love using this for like washing my neck and like behind my ears and my chest and even like under the arms. Sometimes your underarms can look a little bit like bumpy and not the smoothest. I feel like this cleanser, since it has the enzymes, really deep cleans your underarms and when you shave them, they just look a lot more smooth. You can find this product at Whole Foods, on Vitacost, sometimes at TJ Maxx. Because it has the pineapple enzymes, I feel like it does deliver a little bit of a tingle, helps remove some of that dead skin. And because my skin's so sensitive right now, I just can't use it on the face, but I did like it for washing other parts of my body. And definitely will recommend it to anybody out there looking to get like a brightening type of face wash. It smells really good too. This product took me forever to go through, and it's because I don't use a ton of hairspray. This is the Derm Organic Fast Dry Shaping Spray Plus Hold Dries on Contact. And this is a hairspray that is fortified with Moroccan argan oil. So it's going to deliver a lot of shine, but also a lot of hold. It's not a brushable hairspray. This definitely has a little bit more of a firm hold. Um, it's not like super firm, but it's not super like touchable and flexible at the same time. So I would use this when I curl my hair, which is very, very rarely these days. I'm quite low maintenance with my hair, as you guys know. This product is amazing because it's a hairspray in an aerosol container that is vegan, cruelty-free, sulfate-free, gluten-free, uh, no sodium chloride, salt, parabens, like nasty ingredients. It's a very, very pure hairspray. So I know a lot of people out there are transitioning to you know, cruelty-free products, and that's amazing. I commend you. I wish I had the focus to do that, but I like to pick cruelty-free products where I can, where possible, and this is definitely a hairspray I want to, like, put out there for you guys to, like, have on your radar because this is a really nice hair care brand. I've tried their shampoos and conditioners in the past, and I thought the hairspray was a really good one. Um, and, yeah, I've used it up. Not in a rush to repurchase just because I don't use hairspray really ever these days. I'm actually surprised I don't have more of these in this empties, but the Up and Up Smoothing Shave Gel with Soy. If any of you guys out there shop on Cartwheel, on the Cartwheel app at Target, you can usually get an extra discount on this, so it's super affordable. Definitely recommend it, favorite shave gel. Next up is a brand that's not too well known, it's Hair Recipes. This is a natural hair care range out of Canada. It is mostly paraben and sulfate free, all natural, made of natural ingredients, kind of like the no junk hair care range. So these products are formulated to add shine and energy to your hair. They didn't really stand out as holy grails to me. Uh, the shampoo, I had to use a lot of it. It is natural, but like I have a ton of hair and I do a double cleanse every time I wash my hair. So this eight ounces ran out pretty quickly. And same thing with the conditioner. I felt like the conditioner wasn't super hydrating for my hair, but it did leave my hair super duper shiny. It didn't really 
condition my hair a whole lot. It just made it really shiny. So it was still really tangly and hard to manage. So unfortunately these weren't like home runs for me, but I do think they're a decent brand and something to check out if you're in the market for natural hair care. Also, if you're in Canada, I know that, that you can get these a little bit easier than we can in the States. So while the brand did send these to me to try out, I don't think they were home run products per se, but I think they were pretty good to try out and definitely something to put on your radar if you're looking for more natural, more pure hair care products. Next up, I have the Borghese Purifying Clay Cleanser. I use this in the shower and it was like a nice, gentle cream cleanser. It definitely had clay in it, so it was a gray color, um, but it felt really nice on the skin. It didn't really feel like it was penetrating the deep, deep layers of my skin. And since my skin has been like out of whack this year, I, just, I don't feel like this did a whole lot. I know clay does have some purifying properties to it, but it didn't make a huge difference in my skin. Uh, but it did feel very, very nice in the shower, so I will give it that. Again, you can find Borghese at Macy's and online, so check them out. I will link it below. Not my favorite, but I thought it was really fun to try. Next up, I have two masks here from Andalou Naturals, and I did really enjoy these two. This one's a repeat in my empties. It's the Pumpkin Honey Glycolic Mask. This is an exfoliating and brightening mask. This is a mask that when you put it on your skin, you can pretty much immediately feel it working. It definitely tingles a lot. And I love using this in the morning time just to freshen up and brighten my skin. I sometimes apply this before I get in the shower and just apply it to the T-zone and chin area. And I feel like it's going to town at eating away at like the oil and congestion on my skin. Once you rinse it off your skin, your skin feels so, so clean, and it immediately looks brighter. So I definitely think that this is a standout product. One of the biggest misunderstandings with natural products is that they don't work as well, and you have to leave them on longer for them to work. No, 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 no. This is one of those products that has enzymes that work right away on your skin, and definitely don't leave it on longer than you need to because your skin might get overly agitated, but it's definitely a powerful mask, and really affordable too, so definitely love this one by Andalo Naturals. The other one I really did enjoy using was the A Thousand Roses Rose Water Mask, and this is a hydrating mask, and I would like to use these together. I would multi-mask with these. I would apply the glycolic mask to the center of my face and apply the rose mask to the outer perimeter of my face just because that's where I'm a little bit more dry and flaky and sensitive, and together it was a nice like at-home facial treatment. I definitely prefer the glycolic mask over the rose mask just because I know that this one is like super effective right away. I get the same result every time. But this is a great one to have in like your beauty arsenal just for the days that your skin is like super inflamed and flaky and dry and sad and begging for moisture. This is a nice little mask to try from time to time. Next up is the Pharmacy Soothing Hydrating Coconut Gel Mask. I love this mask. I tried it out last year for the first time. I tried this out last year when I did a video with Pharmacy where they sent me some products to try out where I unboxed them. And this is the only product I repurchased from that bundle. This is their sheet mask. It's a biocellulose sheet mask, meaning that it's like more of a jelly texture than a fabric texture. And there are so many nutrients packed in this product. It is made from naturally derived ingredients, paraben free, cruelty free, um, there's no artificial coloring in this. You get three sheet masks in here, and the price point is around $20 or $24. It's a little bit more than the cheapy sheet mask, but I'm telling you, it's way more effective. This is a must-have for me on long-haul flights. I definitely use this on my Europe trip when I was flying back to the States, but I don't really care when I wear this on a plane and people look at me like I'm crazy because my skin feels so amazing afterwards. I also use this for when I'm like having like a dull blah skin day where I just need a little extra pampering at home. Definitely love this. Check it out. I recommend it to everybody. And I don't really rave about sheet masks a whole lot, but I love that one. Next up I have the Crest 3D White Luxe Strips. These are in the Glamorous White variety. I buy these at Costco where they come in a two pack and you save a lot of money that way and I actually don't use these super religiously. I don't use them like every night for two weeks like the package suggests. I actually use these like every other night, like maybe for a week and then I take a break and then I use them again. Um, I've never experienced teeth sensitivity but again I don't use them like how normal people use them to whiten their teeth. I just use them here and there for when I have time. I've been actually doing a couple things to help whiten my teeth lately. I've been using these from time to time, using a new toothpaste, using a new toothbrush. So I feel like all in all, it's been helping me overall because I still drink the same amount of coffee and the same amount of red wine. So I need a little extra help in the teeth whitening department and I really like these. I thought these were really good and they're 
I think I prefer the 3D white over like the regular white strip line. So I have yet to try the ones that are like the two hour whitening treatment. I might try those next, but like with my schedule, it's not really something that I always have the time for. So yeah, definitely like these, we'll repurchase. Next up, I have the Firming DMAE Moisturizer by Derma E. Again, cruelty-free, vegan, paraben-free skincare. This one smells really, really clean and neutral, almost like of a powdery scent. And this is a sample size, but I'm actually trying out their nighttime moisturizer with hyaluronic acid. And I think I actually prefer the DMAE moisturizer just because it feels a little bit less greasy. Um, and this one sinks in the skin quicker. So I don't know. I don't know. More to come on that, but I really did enjoy this moisturizer. Super clean, super natural, good ingredients. What else could you ask for? And lastly, we have the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. This is a beautiful moisturizer. I love the scent of it. It kind of smells like, kind of smells like that Colleen Rothschild cleansing balm. It has like a moringa, almost like herbal scent to it. This is an amazing moisturizer. You can use it for day or night. Uh, has a very, very thick texture, but it's not super duper heavy on the skin. Um, I know it has um, anti-aging ingredients in it. I think it has hyaluronic acid, so it's super plumping and nourishing. I did really like this, so I'm thinking about repurchasing it, uh, but I did like this size for my travel bag. It was super duper handy for that. All right, you guys, so that's about it for my September empties. I'll list them all in the description box below if you want to get more information on any of the products mentioned. I know there was like literally like 100 products in this video. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe below if you haven't already. Let me know if you want to see more empties videos in the future or more decluttering videos because I have a lot of makeup right now and it's starting to overwhelm me because I have a lot of stuff coming in and the stuff is not going out at the rate it's coming in at, meaning more and more stuff is starting to pile up that I don't have space for. So I'm thinking about doing some decluttering videos soon and since you're watching an empties video, you might be interested in decluttering. I don't know. Let me know. Comments below. Should I do it? Should I not do it? And what do you want to see? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day and I'll see you very soon in my next video.